I'm Caitlin Phillips, and this is The Side Comment. In this episode, philosopher Nick Bomarito debunks some common myths about Buddhism. Hi, I'm Nick Bomarito, philosopher and author of Seeing Clearly, A Buddhist Guide to Life, and I'm here with five things you need to know about Buddhism. The first is that Buddha is not a name. It's a title, like president or doctor. It means somebody who is awake, and in this case, it means someone who's awake to the most fundamental nature of reality. The guy in India we call the Buddha, meaning the historical Buddha, and his name was Siddhartha Gautama. But there are many Buddhas. There are past Buddhas, future Buddhas, and Buddhas in different realms in space and time. Many people in the West picture a jolly fat man, but that's a different figure named Budai in Chinese or Hote in Japanese. Sometimes this figure is identified as Maitreya, the future Buddha, but it's definitely not the historical Buddha. The second thing to know is that the Dalai Lama is not the leader of Buddhism. Tibetan Buddhism has many sects, and the Dalai Lama is leader of one called the Geluk sect, but other Tibetan Buddhist sects have their own leader. For example, the Kagyu sect's leader is called the Karmapa. Other branches of Buddhism have their own leadership structure, and though the Dalai Lama is an important figure, he's not the official leader of Buddhism as a whole. The next thing to know is that not all Buddhists meditate. Historically, meditation was done by a small minority of Buddhists, usually ordained monks and nuns. And even in a monastery, there's a system of specialization where some monks would specialize in philosophy, others in funeral rituals, and others in meditation. The idea that all Buddhists should meditate, including lay people, is a fairly recent one. Focusing on meditation also ignores a lot of other things that are important to Buddhism. Circumambulation, prostration, lighting candles or incense, making offerings, or going on pilgrimage. While we're talking about meditation, Another thing to know is that not all Buddhist meditation is mindfulness. Mindfulness is one family of Buddhist techniques, and it often takes a variety of objects. So Buddhist texts will talk about being mindful of death, or your own body, or various other Buddhist ideas, like the impermanence of all things. But there are a lot of other techniques that are not mindfulness at all. A popular one is called Zazen, a type of meditation found in Zen Buddhism, or Dzogchen, a type of meditation found in Tibetan Buddhism. Buddhism also includes a lot of imaginative techniques involving different kinds of visualizations aimed at retraining your ingrained mental habits. So although mindfulness is one type of Buddhist meditation, there are lots of types of meditation you can find in Buddhism. The last thing to know is that Buddhism isn't just a philosophy or a way of life. Buddhism has existed for thousands of years in many places around the world, and Buddhists relate to it in a lot of different ways. But many, many Buddhists accept supernatural things like heavens and hells, or supernatural beings that intervene via special rituals. Even discussions of the benefits of mindfulness in traditional sources talk about things like remembering your past lives or learning how to fly through the air. The majority of Buddhists, both historically and globally, relate to Buddhism in these kinds of ways. This doesn't mean that there's nothing philosophically interesting in Buddhism or that you can't relate to it in other ways. But it's a big tradition, and it's more than simply secular mindfulness or stress relief. If you're interested in learning more about what Buddhists think, what they do, and why, check out my book, Seeing Clearly, A Buddhist Guide to Life.